Holy Spirit. Seed time and harvest media presents to you God's word, which is capable and living for life transformation. May the Lord bless your heart as you encounter his word. Remain blessed as you sit back and listen to these divine instructions as the servant of God brings the word of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Upon vanity, I see in this world, I see everywhere, I see everywhere vanity upon vanity. I see, I see, I see among the youths, I see your special win. Vanity upon vanity, I see in this world. Mm -hmm. I remember his feet before me, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, Bible tells me there is life after death. Only Jesus can give such a life. This world is not my home. It is full of vanities. All the wealth upon the earth I can lose. All the money in the bank. All the wealth upon the earth. When I die, I will leave them behind. This world is not my home. It is full of vanities. All the wealth upon the earth I can lose. All the money in the bank. All the wealth upon the earth. When I die, I will see them no more. Young man, young woman, can vanity cry. upon vanity. Lord, I open my eyes to see the vanities I of this life. remember his feet. That I Before I me, oh Lord, them. Hallelujah, Bible tells me, Lord, there is open life my heart that, that I might only the tears of this life, life and turn my back on them. I wonder why people fight in the world of vanities when they know they have a little time to stay here. Yeah. Some fight for the wealth, some fight for the land. When they die, they will leave them behind. I wonder why fight in the world of vanity when they know a world of they vanity. have a little time to stay. But unfortunately, yeah. we are pursuing some these vanities for the wealth at the expense some of our soul for the land. At when the expense they die, of our destiny, at the expense of our walk with God, this world is not my own. It Lord, is full may of I vanity. understand. All the way, I understand in all that I can lose. I have pursued this vanities all the money enough. in the bank. All the way, I will help me to pursue this. When I die, I will see them no more. Young man, can you pray? I will go home someday. Daughter of Zion, Mary angels are waiting. I will walk upon the golden city. I will wed with Jesus. Why am I pursuing vanity? This world is not my home. Why am I pursuing wind? It is full of vanity. I just of my soul. Upon the earth I can lose. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Your man, why are you like wild this? upon the earth? Look at the time when investment. I, I will in see pursuing them no vanity. More. Whereas one thing vanity is needed. upon vanity, I Look see. Look at this strength, this strength, your youthful vigor. I remember his feet. Your youthful strength. Before me, oh Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Bible tells me. Why pursuing vanity? Life after that, only Jesus can give Lord, such a that life. I may see. Vanity Lord, upon vanity, I see. I remember His feet. Sing for the name of your Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. If somebody Hallelujah. like Solomon can turn the same all his vanity. Jesus can give such a Where am I pursuing emptiness? Vanity of the vanity I see this world. I remember what is happening to me. Before me, oh Lord, Hallelujah. I am helpless. Me, there is light after that. Only Jesus can give such a life. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, thank you. You are faithful. You are glorious. You have brought us again to mercy. And so, Lord, we pray. Let your mercy flow. Let your goodness flow. Let our eyes open that we might see, that we might turn our back from pursuing vanities. Lord, help us. Holy Spirit divine, I cry that you come and glorify Jesus. I, I have nothing to offer, but my confidence is that you have everything to offer. So, Lord, we pray. Offer your children the bread of life. Offer your children light. O offer your children grace. That in all things, your name alone shall be glorified. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. The burden that I have personally, from the day I, I saw this theme, one thing is needful, is what I, I, I will share with us briefly. And that body is the pursuit of vanity. The pursuit of vanity. Of a truth, everyone in this life is pursuing something. Nobody is stagnant. Everybody is on a move. Pursuing one thing or the other. No one is hiding in the journey of life. And one thing is this. In this pursuit, time is involved. Strength is involved. Vigor is in involved, is needed, is highly needed. And the truth remains that in this pursuit, many are pursuing substance. Why many are pursuing wind? That is what I call vanity. But unfortunately, many youths in our generation are pursuing wind. Pursuit of vanity. Many are pursuing wind. Using their youthful strength, using their youthful vitality, using their youthful time in pursuit of vanity, that which is not important, that which is worthless, that which does not hold water, that which does not have anything to add to their future. That which does not have anything to take them to where the Lord wants them to do, to go. That which does not have anything to do with eternity. That is what most youths in our generation are pursuing. And the truth remains that by the time they realize it, before they will come to realization, what is happening? 
uh, 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 many things have been damaged. Many damages have been done. Many things have been lost. Time has been lost. Strength has been lost. Wisdom has been lost. Many things, many things. You now see the person trying to gather things, gather things, struggling to meet up or to make up. Praise the Lord. Some will just try to see how they can start afresh. Some will just become frustrated and turn their back. I speak to some of us that are still young. Those small, small children that I'm, I, I saw here this afternoon. Maybe you have not really delved so much into this pursuit of vanity. But I can't say you under God. Don't pursue vanity. Many that have pursued vanity are living in regret and sorrow today. That is the burden I have. The pursuit of vanity. The pursuit of vanity. If you look at what most of us are after, it's not what matters. It's, it, it, it's not what the king wants us to pursue. It's not the need of the hour. Let's open the Bible. Of course, you know, uh, it's a popular place, Ecclesiastics 1. I'll read from verse 1 from here. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Note the speaker of these words. He's a king. You have seen light. You have seen wet. You have seen many things. Good deeds. You have seen women. You have seen things. And he now said in verse 2 Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What profit has a man from all his labor in which he toils under the sun? One generation passes away and another generation comes. But this art abides forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The pursuit of vanity. And I ask you again, what are you pursuing? If I give you this mic and say, Sister, brother, tell us. You are now 17, you are 18. You are 20, you are 20 something. You are close to 30, you are above 30. All these wise, what have you been pursuing? What and what have been primary in your life? I stand to tell us. If that thing that you have been pursuing all this while is not that one thing that is needful, if it is not the master, if it is not salvation of your soul, you are in error. You are pursuing vanity. But before we begin to conclude, I will not stay longer. I think I have passed the message. The pursuit of vanity. Let's consider some of the vanities that youths of our age are pursuing. I'll just mention a few of them. We begin to cry. It's a burden in my heart. Though. It's a burden. The pursuit of vanity. We are in an era where many young people are pursuing this vanity called beauty. Beauty. And I read my Bible in Proverbs 31 verse 30. What does it say? Praise the Lord. What does it say? Beauty is what? In other words, beauty is a vanity. And I tell us the way our youth are pursuing it. It seems as if it is the end of the road. Ha! It seems as if it is the end of the road. I'm afraid of the way this generation is pursuing fashion. The way we are falling headlong, fighting, you know, dying for fashion. 
Ah, I see a generation that doesn't know where we are going. I see a generation that doesn't have focus. If the word of God said that beauty is vain, why are you spending your time, your strength? Everything about you is how to look good. Looking good is good though. But when it is to the detriment of your soul, when it is to the detriment of your salvation, when it is to the detriment of your, of, of your destiny, it is vanity. When you place it before, before you, pursuing it with everything in you, bringing out, sticking out your head in pursuit of it, you, you, you are in error. Praise the Lord. Many, 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 many young people in their quest to look good have committed many atrocities. In their quest to look good. If I may ask, why is people going into immorality? Hello? Are we sleeping? No. Those of us, those young girls that are normally out for immoral acts, those money that they get, what is their first place of, as in, their first place of expenses? Eh? Is it not on beauty? What of those, their home boys? What would be their first, you know, first thing to show off that they have arrived? Is it not to go and wear to match, at least one, one of my brothers that are selling all these male clothes, all these, yeah, trending clothes up and down these big polo you know it i don't know the name you are calling it you know it now somebody that is like this will go and wear big polo that is double of my size that is it is that not the trend of the time hey all of you are now born again thank god for you somebody that is very slim will wear one oversized polo like this and oversized trousers and will be walking like they say is the trend I know you part your own at home. You, you don't want to be embarrassed. That's why you didn't come with it. But that is that is the in thing. I'm seeing it, and I'll be wondering. So this brother will just tell me. He'll just show me some pictures and say this one is thirty-five thousand. I say this one is, is looks like pajamas now. Uh, uh, to me, it's like pajamas goes up and down. I don't really understand. I said this one is like pajamas. He said, ah, this one is 40,000. I said, how are for you people? You bring out one slippers. I said, this one is 25,000. He now said, oh, these Yahoo boys, the day they will come to market, one person will buy five colors. Five colors of the uh, clothes, five colors of the shoes, five colors of this, five colors, as in spending those money on beauty. Beauty is vain. Beauty is vain. Young girl, this beauty that made you a harlot is vain. This beauty that made you a criminal is vain. Yes, it's vain. This beauty that made you a liar is vain. Look at you using your school fees to buy clothes. Is that more little madness? No, is it not possible? Hello? Is it not possible? Excuse me. Look at, look, 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 look at you. Traveling from here to Abuja to go and do part-time and shower work. For beauty's sake. Is that, is, 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 is that person normal? Beauty is vain. That is the word of God. Permit me to tell you, you cannot catch up on beauty. No way. There is no way you can catch up on beauty. Many that have pursued it, they are falling headlong. They are now living in regrets. How can you catch up with trends? How can you catch up with fashion? It's not possible. As you are pursuing it, it is going far. Because they are coming out every day. 
So if you spend your youthful age in pursuit of fashion, in pursuit of beauty, I tell you, you your, your, your adulthood will be full of regrets. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beauty is vain. Another thing that my generation is pursuing, another vanity is fame. You want to be known. You want to be known. Many of you here, if 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 we start asking you one by one, do you know that we have some people here that went for BPN audition? Even if it's one person, is it not possible? Eh? Oh my God, is it not is it not possible? That we might have a candidate that went for BPN audition here. Hey! <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, maybe you don't know what is BPN again. Uh, you know now. Big brother what? Uh -huh. It's possible that somebody, even if you didn't go, you desire it. It is your heart desire. That's why you are watching it now. That's why we are, you are staying here. It's like they tied you because you, you are missing it. Hello. It's, some of us, you are staying in this camp. It's like my mom no try at all. At least I could have been knowing what is happening in the house. I could have known what Angel did last night and all this and uh, what. Uh, uh, you don't know that I know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And what? Which of that name? Something money. Why? <laughs> you know now. Look at you. You, 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 are, you are just missing it. Because you, 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 you love fame. At the detriment of your soul. You want to be famous. You want to be known. You want to be celebrated. Not in the Lord. Not in the Lord, but in the world. You want to be celebrated. Not as a child of God, but as a star that is full of darkness. Permit me to tell you that any star outside Christ is equal to darkness. No matter who is hailing you. Any star outside Christ is equal to darkness. To be famous is one of the things that you are pursuing. And I say, I tell you again, it is vanity. No, bring out time to read this book of Ecclesiastics. You see, you see, you see description of vanities. Some, some, some versions will now say meaningless. Some versions will put it worthlessness. And this is what most of us are after. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I see my generation pursuing success. We are still going to read the same Ecclesiastes chapter 5. 5, 10 to 11. Praise the Lord. Five verse ten. He who loves silver will not be satisfied with silver, nor he who loves abundance with increase. This also is vanity. They increase who eat them. So what profit have the owners except to see them with their eyes? Praise the Lord. Success. Success is good, though. Is it not good? Hello. Hello, youth. Is success not good? And everybody loves success. But I tell us, any success you are pursuing at the expense of your soul is vanity. It's vain. Why must you pursue success with your blood? Any success you got with your blood is a cost one. What do I mean by blood? Listen to me. Many young people have gotten certificates with their blood. Any source 
process you got with your blood is a cause. Certificate you got under the bed of immorality is a blo is with blood. I speak it again, it's a bloody certificate. Certificate you got with your body, young girl. That was yet that you got with your body. That was yet that you got by sleeping with me is bloody. That admission that you got to you is a success. But heaven is looking at it as bloody certificate. Heaven is looking at it as bloody admission. Any success you go trampling on the lives of others is, is vanity. What do I mean? You are now serving somebody and you are stealing money, packing money, saving money, so to say. At the, at the, at the sorrow of your God, you are now, oh my God, I see a generation that is heartless. Somebody will be doing sales care. Ordinary says girl. Before you know it, she will start building house. Simeo, is it is it possible? Ordinary says girl that they are paying ten thousand. Is building house. Wow. Will you call that one success? Ordinary says girl. Buy a shop, equipping it. I've seen it all. All of a sudden, somebody will be says girl this year. By December, she'll tell his other, I will not do it again. By January, you will see her with full shop. That same line. And you'll be wondering, is this one a magician? To, to some people, she's successful. But I tell you, that success is vanity. That success that you got, young boy, that you got, robbing others, depriving others of their joy, trampling on the head of others, in the name of Yahoo, you know, is the trend of time. Many of us, in your ear, but inside your heart, you are desiring to be a Yahoo boy. To you, they are the ones succeeding. They are the ones building houses. They are the ones buying cars. Is it is it is the cheapest way of making money? But I tell you, the pursuit of that is the pursuit of vanity. What do you mean? Is that how to succeed? Is that how to succeed from Yahoo to enter Yahoo Plus? Success. Solomon said, all these things are vanity. This man saw success. So. This man saw success. Yeah, I don't know how. Bible said he, he, he is the richest. No king. No king is, have ever attained his height. But he looked at all those things. He looked at all those things. He saw that they don't have eternal value. He saw that they will end here. He saw that they will end here. Brother, they will end here. In case you have forgotten. All these things you are dying for. All these things you are poking out your head for. All these things you are, you are breaking out your blood for. They will end here. Men may applaud you that this one has succeeded. Men may give you top up. They may call you names. They may salute you like this. Dump their cap. Say that this one is correct. This one is a G. This one is this. But I stand to tell you. All these things will end here. And what will happen when you spend all your strength. All your life in pursuit of them. And you have nothing. To stand before your savior. Pursuit of vanity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The pursuit of power. The 
the pursuit of power. We are in a time, in a generation, that cultism and occultism is being celebrated. It, it, it's, it's no longer a, a, a serious crime among young people. They see it as normal because they desire power. And one thing that that have brought is idolatrous practices. Hey, I, I, I was talking with one of my aunties that came from the village to my house yesterday. She was lamenting. She was like, if you come to our place now, it's not far, it's this land, this land that we are here. She was telling me, in our own side, say, all oh, the young boys that I know, she was just calling their names. This one is doing idolatry. This one is this one. This one is taking care of this deity. This one. I was like, what is happening? She, may, she, she mentioned almost all the young, young boys that I know. I became afraid. Say, ah, this one. Hey, hey, that one is this one. That one is this one. That one is after this one. That one is doing Dibia. That one is doing S and Y. The thing was like, it's, it's a trend. The rich young people are delving into idolatry. But permit me to tell you, it is vanity. Let's, let, 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 let's see the Bible. Jeremiah 2 verse 5. You may be here. You, you are planning it. You, know, you have started, you know, giving that a second thought. To go back, some people say, hey, it's what our fathers do. Hey, what, our, what our fathers gave us. This Oibo culture. This Christianity is Oibo. Some of you, those ways have started entering your head. Even at this tender age. It has started entering your head that Christianity is Oibo culture. Is it not true? Is it not what they are saying? Are we not hearing it like that? They will just be confused. They say, ah, what our father has left for you. Why must we allow it to die? Your people, 18 years, 20 years, 20 something years, are now chief priests in different idols. In pursuit of power. Somebody read Jeremiah 2 5 for us. Praise the Lord. Bible said, our fathers, they follow this thing. They follow this vanity of idolatry. They follow this vanity of occultism. They follow this vanity of occultism. See, they, 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 some versions call it worklessness. And look at us. You boy, look at you. They are calling you come back to the village. They are saying that that is you, is you that will take care of this idol. Brother, why do you want to follow vanity? One sister was telling me that she went to her brother's house. That the daughter of her brother, that is just, she just wrote her work last year, is now doing as a wine. So she was surprised. Small girl, 17 years. So she, she cried that day. Ah uh ah! -uh. 17 years. Not secret, secret marriage. She's not doing it. It's obvious. Everybody knows. Vanity. Maybe this one wants to acquire power. Look at what. Look, 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 look at look at what cultism have done to you. Because you are pursuing power. Look, just just look at your life, brother. Look at your life. At this tender age. Look at the damages. Just look at the da just look at the damages. Can't you see it? It's not even up to two years you join this cult. But just look at the damages it have cost. Just look at your life. Look at the ground you have lost. Look at the, 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 the strength you have wasted. Look at the opportunities you have wasted. Can't you see it? Are, are, are you not bothered that this thing that you thought?
thoughts will help you to get power have damaged you. Are you not bothered, young boy? Young girl, are you not bothered? Are you not bothered? Is it not breaking your heart? That what they deceived you into. Saying that it will help you. Are you not bothered that it has damaged you? Is it not touching your heart? That where you are today is not where you're supposed to be. Is it not touching your heart? That the enemy deceived you so much. He promised you strength. Look at you now, very weak. He promised you opportunities. Look, 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 look at you now. Facing high level frustrations. All their promises have they not become false. They promise you boldness. Look at look at your life. You are now living in fear. You can't move around freely. I'm talking to those of us that have sold their hands to the devil in the name of cultism. Look, look at the damages. Young boy, look at the damages. Is he is he is he not paining you? Look at where he's supposed to be. Just look at the height. Look at the height. Look at the height. You're supposed to be. But look at you on the valley. Look at you on the valley. Look at you on the pit. Deep down in the pit, still going down. But I start to tell you, there is only one force that can bring a man out of the deep pit. And that force is what you need. And that force is the force of Calvary. The force that brought Jesus. The force of resurrection. That brought Jesus from the land of the dead. And make him alive again. That is the only force that can save you. Their promises have failed you. Have it not? They have failed you. You are now, you are now a shadow of yourself. Praise the Lord. Pursuit of power. The ultimate power. The power of resurrection. You like this, you don't pursue it. You, you, you went and pursued power where there is no power. Whereas there is a source of power that never dries that when a man approaches this source he will be empowered beyond measure you refuse to come you refuse to identify with this force you wait and identify with the other one with black what and red what and whatever you may call yourselves you went and identified with those ones look at how they have shattered your future look at your future Look at your destiny. Look at the promises of God. Right from the day of your birth. Your parents are telling you stories. What the Lord promised he would do with your life. The, your parents are telling you their dreams about you. You are growing with, with a very bright future. Look at how the devil has painted this future black. Look at how black it is. But I stand to tell you there is a mercy that floweth in this house. That mercy is here to bring you out of that pit. To wipe away those darkness and give you light again. It's only if you believe. If you believe that, say amen. Brother, many of my generation, youths, are pursuing after fleshly lust. Fleshly lost. Sister, it is the pursuit of fleshly lust that made you to travel from here to Lagos, to Abuja, to look for your boyfriend. 
that you found last Christmas. The truth is this. If we make the mistake, will I call it a mistake? And bring team of medical doctors here. Daddy, and say, let them come and do HIV tests to all the youths. Do you know some people will jump fence? Hello? Do you know some people will jump fence and run away? Hey! Hello? I tell you, some people will even enter ground and disappear. Because they are not sure of themselves. Fleshly lost. They don't even trust their HIV status. They know where they are putting their legs like this. Dangerous, dangerous moves they have made. Dirty, dirty moves. We are sent upon. Many young people have treaded on it. We are saints of us. Many young people have treaded on it. And they will come and wear beautiful cloth again and sit. Parents will not even know. Pastors will not even know. They will come and dance very well in the church. They will come and even sing in the choir. But their garment is full of stains of fleshly loss states of blood their garments are stained with the blood of our bosses they have many question marks what is the driving force It's like one year because normally you cannot stay a week without a year. Hey, look at the damage is lost, of course. You know, I told you the other day, the other, last year, of my cousin that something, something happened, and we found out that he had a shy young boy, 21 years then. Two years or three years ago. He's still living. But that thing shattered his life. But do you know one unfortunate thing? This boy refused to come to Christ. Even in that state. Even that thing, he was delving more. It's like he's take, making a revenge on gears. We just carry this one. That one will stay one week. What is the result? Of that one is innocently staying, maybe getting some little little cash. Hey! Maybe you are there doing. <laughs> you don't even know whether you have become his victim, <laughs> or even victim of others like that, because your flesh is driving you. You don't want to tame it. You don't want to bring it under control. Maybe after one week, you bring another girl. Because he did some dirty, dirty, dirty business and get little cash like that. So he was using it to deceive these girls. You, you, you don't know. Young girl, you don't know. Those places you are going, sneaking out of your hostel, secondary school students, those places you sneak out of your hostel to go, you don't know that that place is the den of death. To you, you are flexing. Am I correct? Don't I can see Praise the Lord. You are flexing. 
that it is the in thing. But you don't know that you are dying. You are stepping on death. Fleshly loss. Many young people, the way we are pursuing it. I fear for your destiny. Praise the Lord. Pursuit of vain glory. Vain glory. How to talk to those of us that are Christians. Especially those of us that are leaders. I see Christian brothers and sisters pursuing vain glory. I don't make it. You want everybody to call you Papa. Call you what again? Dad. What again? Mama. Look at you. You can't even carry your Bible again. Even your can water. You can't carry it. This person will carry your Bible. This one carry your suit. This one will now carry your bottle of water. And you will now be going, Papa. Arwa de Kwagi. Is that how your fathers did it? <laughs> that is the beginning of your downfall if you don't know. Papa, Papa, he went on the alpha. Pursuit of vain glory have killed many beautiful, beautiful lives that the Lord wants to use to achieve their to, 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 to their generation. It is this pursuit that will make one sister to come and be doing papa, daddy, eh, 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 cook for you, wash for you, papa, daddy, and before you know it, you, you, you don't fall with that. Before you know it, all that the Lord has desired to do with your life. As our uncle was saying, we'll be put on hold up. I, 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 that word, vain glory. The thing came like a bomb in my heart. Christian leaders, youth leaders, be careful. Youth leaders, be careful. Campus fellowship leaders. What is after is uh, how to how to maintain that vain glory, not how to maintain his own relationship with God. We just be after that position, that that respect, that glory, that uh, honor, whatever. He will no longer be after God. You know what is happening? That voice that the Lord is preparing will just die off. Will just close because he pursued what he ought not to pursue when he ought not to pursue it at this age, just because they, they did their own election and they made you president, and that's all, and they made you sister's coordinator. They now bring one big name, Mama, pray you. Eh? See you see pray you rabbi uh, just because you are teaching bible study you are now what <laughs> is, it, is, is that not rabbi rabbi another rabbi you like this rabbi <laughs> this pray you Must be entering your head. You like this that cannot quote three scriptures correctly. Is now what? Rabbi. Rabbi. <laughs> that, that what they are, they are calling. I don't know. During our during our youth service. Rabbi. Pray 
yo. Which country is this one? Mama. You know all those big, big, beware of vain glory. Beware of vain glory. You two workers, beware of vain glory. That thing will not help you, rather, it will kill you. you can avoid to help yourself what are you pursuing and you know the, the, the way men are wired if God did not help you that thing will just enter your head and if anybody did not call you that thing eh, you become what you become offended now why are you not able papa why are you able to give John Vain glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to still consider when we pursue vanity, what do we get? After that, we begin to pray. What do we get? Somebody will just wake up and start pursuing wind. You know wind. Ecclesiastes said is a chasing after the wind. Is a chasing after the wind. Is a chasing after the wind. So I stand to tell us when we pursue vanity, we catch wind. pursue vanity you catch wind and of the truth you know that catching wind is as good as catching nothing you catch emptiness you may be robust outside I seen a one maka this one is slay queen this one is G this one is B and I'm a good day this one is oh, this one is this. They might be calling you those names, but inside you are empty. Empty of joy, empty of peace, empty of rest, empty of satisfaction, which only the Lord can. You may look beautiful outside, but you are empty because in your pursuit of vanity, you caught the wind. And that wind signifies emptiness. Many young people are empty. Empty. Too empty. Empty of God. Empty of life. Empty of light. If you look at their lives, you see darkness. Empty of light. You see them when they are alone. You, 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 you see that this one, this one is empty. That's why there is high rate of suicide among youth. Hello. High rate of what? Suicide. Because of that emptiness. So we'll just be looking for what will I use to fill it. They go party, the emptiness is still there. They drank, is still there. They smoke, uh -uh. They, 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 they do all sorts of things to see if they can fill that emptiness. But it is still there. Emptiness. And before you know it, the person will just give up. And that will lead to suicide. Emptiness. But there is only one hope for every form of emptiness. There is only one hope. There is only one hope. There is a living water. Satisfaction, 
Jesus. And that living water is Jesus. The Samaritan woman said to him, Give me that water that I don't need to be coming to this well again to fetch. That water is living. That water is living. When you drink from it, you won't taste again. And that is the only thing that can fill the emptiness. But unfortunately, many of us, we don't want this water. That is the, the, the result of emptiness. Sister, tell yourself the truth. How do you feel inside? Friends might be hating you. You might be trying to make up. Dress well, paint, do this, do that. But inside of you, there is an, a hole. There is a hole. A hole. There is a hole. There is dryness. There is dryness. You have tried many things to fill it. There is dryness. But I tell you, on this mountain, that living water will flow for all that is thirsty. Bible says, come and drink. Come and drink. To all that is thirsty. To all that is thirsty. To all that is empty. To all that wants to be filled. There is a hope. Child of God, there is a hope. The Lord of us want to feel it. Ah, empty of joy. If you come outside, you laugh, you laugh, you dance with your friends, you go to a club, you go to a party. I tell you, out of experience. So. You know, I, I, I won't forget to tell you that I was once like you. And the truth remains that one day you will be like me. I was once young. So all these things, I've, I'm telling you out of experience. Way back in school, we would just be doing it. No club, but you know, anything. Just but if you come back home, you know that you are, you are not correct. You are empty. You are empty. There is a great gap in your heart. There will be guilt. You know how it happens? If you hear morning cry that time, hmm? you'll be like, this person should stop talking. It seems as if he's talking to me. There will be guilt. You are not satisfied. I tell you, nothing satisfies in this life. I'm not talking to you as a, as a, as a novice. I've tested the other side of life. I know the difference. I know the difference. I know the difference. So I'm telling you, nothing can feed that emptiness. Drinks, alcohol, you drink, drink one cup and drink two. It can't feed that. That emptiness is beyond the flesh. It's beyond the flesh. You know, dancing, 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 dance, the video, dance, dance, whiskey, dance, eh, eh, fino, dance, those dancing steps. Eh? You know those dancing steps? You cannot feel that emptiness. Permit me to tell you that money cannot feel that emptiness. They, they pay so some so amount in your account. You have eat your million even as a teenager. Yeah, thank God, I, I I am a millionaire at twenty. You know, some of you, this is the kind of thing you post on Facebook. Millionaire at it show your accounts a lot. Do you know that that money does not feed this emptiness? It's beyond money. I tell you, it's beyond money. will be like if I marry. I'll be. No, marriage. Marriage eh? does not feel this emptiness. There is only one thing. That needful thing that brings this satisfaction. You girl, I'm telling you. Changing boyfriend. Eh? 
changing boyfriend. Let me change from this person to this person. At least is caring. Is caring. Is loving. No, no, he cannot feel it. No, no man can. No man can. Is a hollow that only somebody that died for all men can feel. Is a hollow that is beyond human satisfaction. Is a is a is a How we should understand? If you must tell yourself the truth, you have tried many things. Friends cannot satisfy this emptiness. Friends. Meet friends every time. I have many friends. 10,000 followers. Hey, no now. They cannot satisfy this whole 10,000 friends. 10,000, 100 followers. This, that, that, that. It cannot satisfy this emptiness. There is no other friend. Like the Lord Jesus, no, not one, no, not one, no friend like him is so unholy. Oh, 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 oh. 
Jesus name we are prayed when we pursue vanity we catch frustration I see frustration among many young people. Somebody will just look at himself like this and realize that I have lost many years. I have wasted my youthful age. I see frustration. And that have led to high level of crime. If you now see some young people that are just annoyed. Any little thing they will kill somebody. Any little thing they will pick on face. They will go to the extent of beating their parents, committing all sorts of atrocity. That is frustration. Some will just be pushed to the wall that they will join court, drink and smoke, and commit all sorts of atrocities. Frustration have registered. Some will go to the point of killing themselves. Frustration have registered. But I pray for you. You will not be frustrated in life in the name of Jesus. Even if you have been frustrated, there is a mercy in the house that will deliver you from frustrated life and set your feet on the solid rock in the name of Jesus. But I tell you that the cure for frustration and that cure is in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 30. He said, come unto me. Come unto me. Young boy, come unto me. I know you have been frustrated. I know the enemy has caused a lot of damage. I know that you are the verge of committing suicide. I know that you are angry with yourself. I know that you are angry at your parents. I know you are angry at your lecturers. I know you are angry at your friends. But come unto me. Come unto me. All you that labor and heavy laden with the Lord of sin with the Lord of vanity the word of God says I will give you rest there is a rest in the house there is a rest in the house the Lord wants to give somebody rest the Lord wants to give somebody rest you don't like yourself again you don't like living again. You are like, let me kill myself and go. There is a rest. There is an offering of rest. There is an offering of rest. The Lord is offering to somebody. He said, come. The Lord said, come. Shale I want to continue. But I have this pushing that we will stop here. Because the Lord wants to give somebody rest. Shaka waluka bala sunda ya Shalibra la derere Lima mama mama The Lord wants to give rest I know, I know, I know You have pursued vanity For years oh, But there is an offering of rest
and say, I will return. I will return. Oh, I will return. There is a call for coming home. There is a call for returning. Continue. I can continue. There is something the Lord wants to do. Oh, yeah. 
pursuit of vanity. I don't know the vanity you have been pursuing. But there is a call this night to make a you turn and pursue righteousness. To make a you turn and pursue the need for thing. To make a you turn and pursue the living water. To make a you turn and pursue life. Many of us have been pursuing death. There is a call. Rabba Shaka Lebra Sinka Lucia. Shanta Lord, I am no longer comfortable the way I am. Shaliante, save me from the pit. Save me from the pit. Save me from the pit. I am down. I am dying. Save me from the pit. The pit of pleasures of this life. The pit of fleshly lust. The pit. Hallelujah. 
We believe you have been blessed by these instructions. For further inquiries or counsel, please contact Veil of Ibo Seed Time and Harvest Revival Labels, Ogidi, Anambra State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 081-90-950-123-081-026-1720 or 081-157-606-73 Email more sure word of prophecy at yahoo.com Gmail more sure word of prophecy 77 at gmail.com Website www.veilofhebron.com May the Lord grant you grace to walk in the light of the truth you have received in Jesus' name. Amen.